Borough could be in front by Easter Monday, but you could almost see it then swinging back the other way in the final three weeks, as then the calendar would appear to favour Sheffield United. The championship promotion race hotted up once more this weekend. Middlesbrough's win at Swansea plus Sheffield United's home defeat to Luton means the gap between second and third is down to four points with 10 to play. Looking ahead at the schedule up to Easter, our borough now presented with a vital window to sneak in front of a blade side who's been in the top two for the past four months. The Formula One world champion Max Verstappen said on the art of overtaking, you try to position yourself in the best possible way to attack them at the point they don't expect or at the point that they are just not as strong as you. That's how you try to get past. Well, a Borough attempt to get past now would absolutely not be a surprise attack. We've all seen them come in for the longest time. We're talking about overtaking when you sense the opponent is just not as strong as you. And the form and the calendar certainly has Borough in United slipstream ready to pounce. To deal with the form, if we very crashly, I'll admit it, apply the points scored over the previous 10 games to the final 10 games, then Borough with 24 and Sheffield United with 16 will give a final total of 87 to 83 in Middlesbrough's favour. The devil, however, is in the detail though of the fixture list. Sheffield United are in the FA Cup quarterfinals, meaning between now and Easter Monday, they play one fewer league games than Borough, with the Blades also on the road for three of their four games and Borough at home for three of their five. Yes, both sides have to play champions elect Burnley, but Borough have got them at home and Sheffield United have to go to Turf Moor. The other four fixtures for Borough, Preston 12, Bristol City 13, Stoke 14 and 23rd place Huddersfield. In contrast, Sheffield United have two difficult away games at 10th place Sunderland and 7th place Norwich before an easier looking assignment at home to bottom of the table Wigan. So honestly, it's not a massive stretch to suggest that Borough could be ahead of Sheffield United by Easter Monday and have made up that four points. They've got more fixtures to play and they look easier. Hell, the overtake could potentially even happen by the end of this weekend. Borough go first in midweek at home to Stoke on Tuesday night, knowing that a win would pile the pressure on the Blades, who then go to Sunderland on Wednesday night. If Sheffield United don't beat Sunderland, given they're in the cup at the weekend, Borough would pass them with a win at home to Preston on Saturday. Honestly, I think Borough could well be ahead of Sheffield United by Easter Monday. It will likely be very close and I wouldn't actually be shocked if the two sides were actually tied on 72, 73, 74-ish points with Borough maybe slipping ahead on goal difference between now and then. And that is where it gets really interesting. Borough could be in front by Easter Monday, but if there's two points or less in it, you could almost see it then swinging back the other way in the final three weeks as then the calendar would appear to favour Sheffield United. There is the potential of an extra game, an FA Cup semi-final indeed, to factor in, but Sheffield United would have a game in hand and would be playing four of their last six at Bramall Lane. Eighth place West Brom, okay, does sound tricky, but then look, mid-table Preston and Bristol City plus three of the bottom seven in a relegation race that frankly doesn't look like it's going to be going the distance. Borough's final five, on the other hand, features Norwich, Luton and Coventry. And so the script flips. I have but two conclusions. Firstly, Borough could well overtake soon. But unless that psychologically damages Sheffield United, then I think they need to overtake and also pull away a little bit ahead of their final five. Secondly, as a neutral, this is looking like an absolutely brilliant running that could go right to the wire. And imagine this, if these two are concentrated on each other, trip over one another, there's an informed Luton team in the background who I'm sure would also 
Love to get involved, given half a chance. By the way, if you do want to hear about the spectacle of a three horse race for second place, you can click up here. It's all going on in League One with a potential three way fight underway between Plymouth, Ipswich, and Barnsley to join the championship.